Hey everyone, welcome back to another adventure with Hank, where today we are at the Cedar River Rendezvous, which is just west of Cedar Falls. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Cannon River Rendezvous, my mistake. Cannon River Rendezvous, which is just west of Cannon Falls, Minnesota. So um, we're going to go out and see some friends and uh, do a little video. So we'll see you in a little bit. Ready to go, Hank? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Traders roll. The fried pie shop, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Hi, buddy. Oh, there's where the blacksmiths are. Oh, I wonder where they're at. There, right there. I think that's them, yep. Hi. Hey guys! Fighting with the small child and the cats. No. Okay. Oh yeah, v uh, Adventures with Hank. <laughs> Check it out on YouTube. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 What you making? Uh, legs for uh, it was right at the top of the there, yeah. Uh, Le legs for bracer. Ah. Longer legs for the firebox. Okay. Short legs. Okay. There. One less. So not quite 90 degrees. Not quite. So a little angle on the firebox. Yep. Oh, gotcha. Is that enough to do the second bin? Actually, gotta match the bins first. It's always nice to know which way you yeah, gotta go to. It's pretty darn close, but not quite. Get the big hammer out. Parts of the anvil, including the hardy hole. No, not, not hot enough. This one's good. This one's good
How big are your anvils? Uh, the one I'm pounding on right now is 140. Okay. And the little one is 120. Okay. Mine's a 90. <laughs> That'd be a lot easier to haul around. Yeah, definitely easier. We have two 400 pound ones at home. Oh, wow. So these are the trouble. Yeah, you gotta have bigger ones at home, definitely. <laughs> it makes life a little bit easier uh, to not have to unload and unload the animals every time. Oh, yes. I got I got one I leave in the trailer and one I leave it in my garage, so I just take it out. And But they're both 90 pounds, so. The one came from my father in law, so. Four hundred pound animals. Really? And we were gonna get one, and then we went down and looked at it, and she starts hitting one, and I start hitting the other one, and the one had the same tone as the, the P, right? Uh. And the other one had the same tone as the, the, the athlete. Uh. Okay. And we're like, we had to get both. No, I have to have both. <laughs> so we went home with four hundred pounds from the wow. animal instead of the P. Well, I hope you got a good deal on them. We got an amazing deal. Good. That's all right. That's awesome. Well, and the, the fun part is, well, obviously it's 400 pounds. Yes. We can't lift 400 no. pounds. It's, this stays in its place permanently. Yes. The guy had, yeah. a, had an engine hoist for us to get them into the truck. Ah, good. And then my husband has a tractor with four clips. Yep. On it yep. To get it out of the truck. Perfect. And yep. luckily his tractor can drive right into my shop. Oh, yes. Well, 400 pounds, that's just, no way you're gonna move that. Yep. A tornado won't lift that off the ground. So, <laughs> basically, what I'm making here, okay? So, here's the razor. Oh, okay. And you can go back. Where did I sit down on my ankle? We're making the legs. Oh. So, like the, the insert. Insert into the, yep. To that. To the square, yep. And then they can be stepped around so it doesn't have to move around. Oh, ground. okay, so gotcha. Taller. Oh, so yes. Be, it's for a tall guy. Okay. The legs that he right. has now are about this tall. John Buck? <laughs> no. No. It's not just, okay, okay. But Someone else is tall. He needs to cook. And his back is killing him because he's hands over. Right, right. And he doesn't apparently stand still when he, or just sit still when he cooks. See, I'm old fashioned. I just get my chair and put it up against by the campfire and just lean over a little bit. Yep. But, you know, to each their own. Yep. You know, if I get older, I might like a brazier too. I don't know. Got any of them ready? Uh, maybe the bottom one. So, when you put the water, you're just keeping it from I getting am hot? I'm the fire. I'm okay. Just, uh, with the charcoal, this, with the, the hard ones on charcoal, the fire spreads out. Yes. So, you've right. got to control it. So, you're just bringing it back in. Okay. I don't want it to be underneath my the fire to be underneath the nose of the phone. Yep. I want it to be forward. So, I'm just trying uh, okay. to bring the fire to Okay. If I was using coal, you know, you use the water to create the nest and yep. the cold. Cook. Right, yep. So, yep. Okay. Well, with. Every time, whatever way you're doing it, you're using water to control. Yeah, right. With, with my uh, more modern forge, I don't have to really worry about the uh, the, the fire quite so much. You know, it's like we're with the bellows. Right. right, exactly, exactly. Yeah. I mean, not a, this is. This being a bellows forge is more period correct for rendezvous than anything else that a blacksmith would use. Over 240 years old. Yes, that's awesome. That's awesome. Out of a blacksmith shop in Monticello, Minnesota. Monticello, really? Bill is the third owner. That's awesome. That is awesome. And it's working great. Look at it, just blow that air. Sparky's everywhere. <laughs> yep, very good at what you guys do. Oh, than the other. I don't care about that. Okay. I care about this part. Yeah, I can, uh, that's, that's, that's just gripping it into the ground. <coughs> that's, just, that's just a step for the foot. Yep. So you can step it into the ground. What's important is that these two, the operates part. Are the same. Yeah. Are we good? Be that way. Yeah. See that's right what's important. That's what I care about. Well, thank you guys for letting me videotape you. And uh, <laughs> look for it on Adventures with Hank. Absolutely. All right. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Hank. Thank you.
Well, guys, we're done with today. We uh, had a good time at the rendezvous. It was nice. It was windy today. 86 degrees for the high. Thank God for the wind because without that wind, it would have been pretty hot and miserable. Yes. So we got to see our friends and had a good time. So this was the the Cannon River Rendezvous once again. <laughs> Get it right. But anyway, um, yeah, it was fun. Yes, it was. It's nice to see some friends that we weren't expecting to see. Yeah. So anyway, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That'd be great. To help me out. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And we'll see you down the road for the next one. Bye for now. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Hank's like, I want to get out of here. <laughs>